Welcome, welcome. <laughs> hello, hello. So, there's so much energy that's going on and I think we are going through like this amazing story and the story is about unwrapping yourself. The story is about unwrapping yourself from the word is like prejudgment, a thought that we hold about ourselves, but we have like this idea that within us is something magnificent, marvelous, miraculous. Yet there's always like these things, these shadows that kind of block us in some weird way, like we've chosen these lessons to go through all of this. Um, so there's this idea like as we move into any new situation, which is actually the invitation that's been extended to us. We're given this time, this reprieve to really think and see what it is that you really, really want for yourself. I always say these are doorways. These are times for us to um, really connect inwardly and reflect and contemplate and realize what is actually really true. So this connection with the breath and I like to call this like maybe expanded awareness, like taking a new viewpoint on life. So what we're receiving right now is just like clear channel channeling in order for us to see like the picture that's been actually shown to us. So I always like to see how this is woven together because they show me all these things that I don't say we need to do. But I think maybe they like little codes or encodings, <laughs> or like initiations. But it's got nothing to do with like me. It's got a lot just to do with you. So I always find it interesting who shows up for this live space of sharing. Even though this is meant for everybody. But I know for you that shows up here, it's becomes a powerful healing. So if we meet here at this point of a stepping forward into through change, because change is happening, but as a mechanism for um, transmigrating ourselves into a place of grace, if that makes sense. <laughs> you know, this is um, a moment of deep, quiet contemplation. So quieten yourself, close your eyes. Place maybe one hand on your heart, you can rest the other hand wherever you want, maybe even your tummy, whatever feels comfortable. And then simply begin to listen to your breath and your breathing. If I could tell you something, I could say, I could share this idea with you and you can make any picture up in your mind of this idea. But if I say, maybe you are being supported by, assisted by, I'll use these words like angel of manifestation, but actually in fact, you are that angel of manifestation. You have within inside of you this divine spark that is waiting, wanting, wills to be released. So if I could just say to you, you've been supported. All your worries, all your woes, all the things that prevent you from stepping forward to so literally just melt away, melt out your mind. So if we meet you at this place, this time of your healing, and look into yourself deeply, what it is that you, your heart truly desires. And let us put it past all like the physical stuff. 
let's bring it to a point where we realize like our soul is speaking to us. It feels emotional. It feels connected. It feels instinctual. It's an image that you can actually feel and sense inside of yourself. It's in, you could say, a photograph of yourself. If you can hold your breath in this space, just listen to the breath. Just listen to the breathing. And with inside of your breath, there's a natural rhythm. It's almost like as if you are listening to the ocean. So just without any strain or stress, with your eyes softly closed, your gaze looking maybe right up between your eyebrow, and find the rhythm of your breath, this natural cycle, because inside of all of us is this spark, and if we look at the stars and the planets, they're literally drawing like showing us directions. The directions is for the greater good of all. The directions are specific to you and your life and how life's showing up for you. This life shows up for you. The lessons you've chosen. So we've been directed. And knowing your angel manifestation and angel support is here to be with you because you're on a sacred path your personal path so looking inside your heart what is that heartfelt desire an image has feeling has energy and we're coming up to this time too of this full moon the full moon's in they say Pisces by 10 degrees. So it's a powerful time too for us to step through doorways of letting things go so we can shine light into all the dark corners. So offer to yourself this place for healing. I just generally like to say thank you. Thank you for this healing. Maybe thank you for this awakening. Thank you. Thank you for this creation. So find your breath again in your body and just breathe in. Find your personal rhythm, your divine signature of your breath. Your eyes are closed. Your breath is full. And you can imagine when you breathe in, your navel is like a balloon and it expands. And your breath actually can stretch the inside of your body. So that breath balloons up into your chest, into your throat, into your face, and your head. Out through the crown of your head. And even on the way down, you feel that. The breath as it moves from the top all the way down. And you can squeeze your navel into your lower spine. And every time we do that, see if you can imagine your spine being touched on the inside with your navel. And you breathe in big belly breath to find your rhythm, find your flow. And how wonderful does it feel just to breathe into all of that feeling, that motion, that flowing. So we're also moving to energy with it's asking us to look at our deepest core wounds. Wounds that could shut you down. As it, but it has within it the power to awaken. And to refine. And it's a time of spiritual, personal mastery. So find your breath. Let one hand just rest on your chest. And the other hand you can rest on your knee. We do this mudra where we would take the thumb between the index finger, that second knuckle here, and it's just going to rest there. 
and the palm can turn down on the knee. And then the tip of the tongue behind the two front teeth, the eyes soft, the crown of the head nice and tall, so nice and tall. And the eyes are going to gaze right between the eyebrow here, a little bit up. You feel that little optical nerve stretch. Feels good. So breathe in. Feel your flow. And then just breathe out. Just no straining, no stressing, but taking full deep breaths. Like the ocean waves move in. And the ocean waves move out. Feeling the flow of your chest rising or flowing, and each of us has our like personal signature. The sound of your breath they call pranava. You can listen. They say on the inhale, there's a sound of like so, and on the exhale, there's a sound of like hum. So see if you can listen to those so as you inhale and exhale, hum. Keep breathing. Just listening to your breath. Breathing out and all those things, those old woundings, the deepest core of your being. Allow yourself to feel inspired, motivated, ready, standing in your power and your wisdom. It's time for great wisdom, inner wisdom, inner wisdom that's connected to the highest. So you can imagine yourself as you walk through life, walking with a sense of grace and ease, an easiness, a flowingness. So no matter what shows up and how it shows up, in all of it we sense and we see and we understand and we know that we're learning and we're evolving. This is time about evolutionary. It's evolutionary. It's time to implement change. And when we go through change, and sometimes we feel like we take one step forward and two back. But it's time of moving the energy forward. It's about initiation and about change. And your foe, if you will, is your insecurity. So this is a time of learning something very specific about yourself, about your life. That you can make that, create that evolutionary change. And it's connected to your life, your life's calling, your life's path. So what is the intention that you wish to hold for life? And take a moment as you ponder that to explore the motivation. Is your motivation aligned with the expression of your true self? So opportunity is given for change. Opportunity in this moment. Next time you press all your breath out, you're going to squeeze your navel into your lower spine. You're going to keep the navel in there. Keep the breath out. Then you're going to inhale. Big belly breath. And then you're going to exhale the breath out. Squeeze the navel into your lower spine. Squeeze it out. Hold the navel in. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Relax into the squeezing. Big belly 
breath, big chest, all around 360 degrees, a big beautiful bubble of light and air. And then press the breath out, navel to the lower spine, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Okay, the next big breath in. And listen carefully, we're going to squeeze the breath out, just hold the breath out, but now you're going to gently make your navel go out and in and out and in and out and in, but the whole time holding your breath out. And then when you need to take an inhale, you just big belly breath in, breath all the way in, and then you're going to press the breath out, hold it out, navel into your lower spine, and then you kind of beat your navel in and out. And then you're going to keep the breath out until you need to take an inhale. Sit nice and tall, level through the spine. You're going to keep doing that. Keep breathing. You can, if you want, you can keep your hand on your chest or sink your other hand down to your knee. And again, you can take the thumb to that space between, um, on the index finger, between the first and second knuckle. Sit nice and tall. And then when you squeeze the breath out, and then you inhale, and when you exhale, all the breath out, and then you enable in and out. Again, two more. Exhale. Last one. All the breath out. Inhale, hold the breath. Reach to the crown of your head. Turn the palms up towards the sky. Just rest them on your knees. And then keep all that height and length in your body. Just breathe out. And then we inhale through the nose. And exhale through the nose. Again, inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Now we're going to do breath of fire. Kapalabhati breath. Breathing. We're going to do about 30 or so of them. And then we'll hold the breath. And then we'll exhale and hold the breath out. And we're going to do about five times of that. Somewhere around there. So take a moment. Sit nice and tall. Let's inhale together. Exhale together. All the breath out. We're going to inhale three quarters and then exhale the breath out. And if you look down at your tummy, you should see your tummy moving too. And you should feel that forceful exhale, the inhale being natural inhale. up nice and tall inhale Exhale, all the breath out, all the way to the bottom. Inhale. 
exhale. Again, the next breath, we're going to take three quarters in. Good about about your breath. Inhale. Exhale, all the breath out. All the breath out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, three quarters. Bati bati. Exhale, breath out. All the breath out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, three quarters. Bada Inhale, hold the breath. Exhale, breath out. Hold it out to the bottom. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale three quarters. About a bati. Soften out your edges. Find your flow. Inhale, hold. Exhale the breath out. Hold the breath out. Inhale. Exhale. Let's find your flow of breath. Turn your palms down and your legs. And just feel your body for a moment here. Maybe a little sensation of tingling. Let's connect with the ting tingling and the sensations. So we are at this. <clears throat> Evolution, evolutionary doorway 
there's directions being given. It's time for a deeper listening. It's connected also to our primal core. We have to listen objectively, knowing that there's a specific dynamic in our life. Something that's within us, an awakening, your personal mastery, that you will specialize the intent for this life. It's time to integrate higher consciousness into your cellular form. So breathing in, breathing out. Place one hand on your belly, one hand on your heart, on your breath. I'm going to inhale for a count of five. Two, one, we're going to hold the breath for a count of ten. We're going to exhale for ten. All the breath out for five. We're going to inhale for five. Three, two, one. I'm going to hold the breath for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1, exhale, 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, all the breath out for 5, 2, 1, inhale for 10, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, hold for 20, 16, 15, 14, 15, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, 2, 1, exhale for 10, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, exhale for, hold out for 5, inhale for 10, hold for 20, Exhale for 10. Out for 5. Inhale for 10. Hold for 30. Twenty, nineteen, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale for ten. Out for five. Inhale for ten. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold for twenty. for 10, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold for 5, 4, 3, 2, inhale, exhale, and inhale, exhale, let's take a moment, you turn your palms up on your legs, another deep breath in together. Full breath out. Just noticing what you're feeling. And now let us lay on the floor. Lay on the earth. Take your time to find a spot. Or lay in your chair if you can do that. We're going to rest back. 
Howsoever it feels comfortable to have your hands either on your body or on the ground or on your lap or wherever it feels resting. You're going to close your eyes if that feels good. Wiggle your body out so that, um, you know, make sure there's nothing sticking into any place that feels uncomfortable. I like to give this image of, you've all done this on the beach, you wiggle your bottom side to side and you make that little hole for your bottom to slip into. And then you can wiggle your toes and your fingers and your nose. And then allow your body to rest in. And taking a moment to take a deep breath. Yeah, breathe in through the nose. And then breathe out through the mouth. I do that a couple more times. I'm going to breathe in. Breathe out. Almost like a circular breath. We're going to breathe in through the nose. And then just breathe out. Keep breathing. It's time to shine the light in the darkest corners. So inside of us, energy moves. We are an energy. And so when we have and feel emotions, this is energy in motion, transmitting. And one of, the, one of the ways for us to truly heal our hearts, to realign, is to come back to our heart space. And first that compassion and self-love for self. But sometimes there's woundings that stand in our way from seeing the outpouring of love. And so we've chosen this life and this path to realize these things. And because possibly these are part of your awakening, your specialized intent for this life. So the stories is offering an opportunity to delve deeply into the tsunami of emotion, the overwhelm you feel inside. So looking inside any feelings, emotions that may arise, you just breathe into them and let them out. And you can see the mind will bring up things. And the more you tap into just seeing what stands every day on your path that you reflect back to yourself. And you could even ask, we could say these angels of support and angels of manifestation, they wait here for you, they wait with you. In fact, the universe is indicating this is time for each person's great awakening, they call these ascension waves. It's been happening for a while, but you know, opportunity has arisen. The universe has quickened the energy. So even though the energy feels so intense, intense at times, it's just we holding on to that emotion, that energy possibly for protection, protecting. It's time for self-nurturing, of balancing the masculine, the feminine within, creating your own emotional security, if you will. It's also coming back to the nature of the divine self, 
So allowing whatever arises to breathe into it, feeling the energy rising. Feeling the energy drawing inwardly and upwardly, like waves in the ocean. Keep the breath continuous, flowing in and flowing out. Breathing in. breathing out. And two, as ideas or thoughts in the mind roll up, it's also a time for us to explore our motivations, why we do things in life. There's also a time of discovering your own uniqueness. This is where Chiron comes into, into this play, our deepest core wounds. They call it personal mastery. You know, when you look at the word personal inside of it, it's like the word sun. Like there's this divine sun within you. And if we look at history and the stories, there's always this general pointing. And the sun, the sun for this planet gives us life. Where Aries is in, or well, Mars is in Aries. It's igniting your divine spark. <laughs> you can even say it's a primal reawakening. So if you could imagine that evolutionary step that you could take, but knowing that each step you're taking, you know, the planets work in this divine harmony. If we wish to create change, bridges, on this planet, we need to go about life embodying this, truly living this. So look deep within your heart to initiate the change and no matter how it shows up, They want me to iterate this word, even though the word says insecurity. If you kind of say in, it's like you could say it in a positive aspect. I am insecurity. I am secured. Because the angels keep wanting to say these words. The angels of support. The universe has heard you. Your silent call for help. This message keeps wanting to come through this week this time about this integration of this higher consciousness into our cellular body. So as you lay here in the space, the image that you hold for yourself, the true image, your personal mastery. Hold that image in your mind, hold it in your cells of your body. This is where we can instill the change the structural change that is needed in the collective consciousness that we hold today. I see it happening at a cellular level, at the crystalline core level of our beings. We have this ability to reactivate ourselves, to be back in harmony with true nature. So then that is the Great Awakening. So breathe into yourself, feel your body, <laughs> feel your cells in your body, alive and illuminated. You're on this sacred path and it's beautiful. So smile to yourself. If you're laying on the floor, just wiggle your fingers and toes or in a chair. Wiggle your hands, your feet, 
Make some circles with your wrists. You can stretch your arms up or back, whatever. Open up your chest. And then you're going to wrap your arms around your body and give yourself a nice big hug. If you want to and you feel like you're going to be on the floor, you can pull your knees to your chest and give yourself even a bigger hug. Or if you're in a chair, you can just hug your knees to your chest. And give yourself a nice big, yummy hug. And then if you're on the floor, roll to your side. From your chair, you can just release your legs down. Now close our eyes. I always take this time as a moment of rebirth. There's still so much coming up. The story is very similar. There's new players coming into the game. The planets are changing. There's purpose in everything. So it's time to refine and to awaken. Hold the image of yourself deeply in your mind. Hold it deeply in your heart. And if you're on the floor, just press yourself up. You'll find a comfortable space. Hands at the place of our heart. Feel the connection to your breath and your breathing. And take a moment just to feel your body, how you feel. And see if you can remember this energy. Make it all you know, like photograph in your mind of this energy, this imprint. So remember this moment so you can always come back to it any time. You can feel the sensation and you can bring the sensation of and peace and harmony, tranquility, inspiredness. <laughs> Take a deep breath in. Breathe all the breath out, chin to chest. Offer gratitude for all things. As life shows up in its perfect form. Hands together at the place of the heart. You can float your thumbs to the place of your third eye, honoring that space of your inner guidance. And let the thumbs gently press as if it's the softest touch. Honor that space. Honor your mind, the brilliance of your genius, and the brilliance of your marvelousness. The brilliance of your miraculousness. And so from my heart to yours, may you always be blessed. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining us today. For being on this evolutionary journey. I'll take a moment to pull a card for us. Take a sip of tea. And the angels are strong at the moment. <laughs> They're showing up um, through people too. Like the angels that have taken on earth lives, if you will. Or souls that have experienced angel lifetimes. Or so. And you can see it in people. You can see it in people's forms and faces. You can see it in their behavior. All things. It's truly marvelous. So the angels are near. They're wanting to come through. So let us see what the angels have for you and for me. Deep breath in. Deep breath out.
hard it's not like super like inspiring so it's like always like oh, come on but it's funny because it aligns with the strategies in such a brilliant way it says god of conflict resolution <laughs> you're like okay that's pretty like capricorn and it says you are being encouraged to walk away from a current conflict this is us this is humanity i said it's very um saturn and capricorn and he's like oh you know i didn't really want to do this i wanted everything to stay the same he's got like this odd look in his face he's got this like super like like what's going on but it's like his mind is like i see the image like there's this visionary idea his mind's illuminated He's, he has this visionary idea there's this awakening also it's this activation of the high heart and the guidance says, well it's happening in the sky because it's time for humanity to do this there's a lot of it feels conflicting like it feels conflicting inwardly outwardly we see conflict around us whether it's you know anywhere in the air like social media to the radio or people's conversations or t-shirts <laughs> so it's how do we resolve the conflict in a way and maybe resolve is like it's like moving it out like it's almost it has a sensation of dissolving like bringing all the energy out of it coming through it and we have to go through this a couple of years back this woman shared like a, an image of and i like to share it too it's like you have a host pipe and forgive me if my like languages and it's like i don't know what a host pipe is in an american sorry <laughs> host pipe <laughs> okay so the host pipe and your um your driveway and all the trees have like fallen down and there's mud and you come with a host pipe and you want to like wash it all away and as it washes there's this like line of crud i guess you'd say like all the sticks in the mud and so we're going through the sticks in the mud we're seeing it and it's rising up for us to see the sticks in the mud, for us to see the crud. It's also clearing our mind. I feel this like energy in the mind, that the mind is being activated and it this is like beyond the like what's happening at a 3D level. It feels like there's like um with all this astrology it seems weirdly I don't know, my English isn't very good because they're like showing me something that seems very star being i don't want to say that that's why i was trying to beat around the bush there's this very like star being connected energy to it that feels like it's with and i don't want to use these words but feels like programmed a little like and if you if you look at different stories there's stories about us being you know alien beings star systems and so forth right so there's all these stories pallades and so forth and those are all rabbit holes right but the truth of the matter is it feels like there's like a little bit of this energy connected to this but it could be something higher than those stories that's why i don't like to connect to those stories too deeply this is about expanded awareness expanded higher consciousness and bringing it down into a cellular form so that the resolution that we're dissolving inside of us is us at our deepest core that's why the wounds that we're needing that's why it's time for us to be activated in our highest heart that when we have any exchanges with people in our lives remember everybody's going through this and to start to activate yourself from your heart space this has come up quite a bit too it's like where are we responding or reacting from before you we think or say or write anything is check in with that part of the heart and i feel a lot of heartache in that area like it feels like it's a collective heartache We've been so driven by this society, by this government, like everybody was rush, rush, nine to five jobs, and then all of a sudden everything, poof, it's like, you know, rush hour, and then, you know, like a truck fell, like logs fell down in the middle of the road, and no one can get to work, right? And then everyone's like, what's going on? We all backed up. Now we're finding new mechanisms. There's some resilience in this because anything that's, you know you see a forest burn down and then mother nature is resilient 
when everybody started staying home, what happened? Nature started healing herself spontaneously. So there's something that we need to be paying deeply, a deep attention to. <laughs> it's so great. I mean, it's, it may feel also like deeply at the core, like in our lives too, that um, it feels harsh, but there's this inspiration and there's this light bridge, which could be this activation too, where it's, it's like a seed of fertility that wants to be birthed. Before um, we did this, I pulled some other cards. So this card keeps wanting to come up, this like embryo. It keeps coming up all this time, this embryo. This week, this card came up too, this angel support. She's come up again like twice this week. This embryo has come up. This one's come up the first time. And this one has come up before in the last couple of months, I know for sure. And this is a, a confirmation. And the last couple of weeks, there was a confirmation on the path that you're walking, on the sacred path that you're walking, the sacred path. It says, let go of logic and trust your intuition. The mind doesn't, this, this Capricorn mind didn't want to be expanded, but it's been almost triggered to blow up. A crystalline body has been um, just like dissolved. Like sometimes they use sound to like blow up something where it's like they would like take a concrete thing and they'll just blow it up with sound. You can find a certain frequency, like a glass will crack at a certain pitch, right? It's like this, this is, we. it's like almost like a system and I've seen this before is being all how we were put together because we've never experienced this in our lifetimes. All that we were put together is being like almost like released and then put back together and a new crystalline form is being created. And I keep seeing this one particular meditation that's really deep. And um, I don't know if I've, I haven't done it like over Zoom yet. It's really powerful and I could walk a group of people through it, but it's, it's literally that. <laughs> It's taking you back through the doorway that you were birthed in this lifetime and you are taken back into this angelic space and your body is literally stripped clear of like everything and your soul's like almost like it's like a you can imagine Cleopatra getting into like a bath of milk like just this like saturation thing and I can feel it like like around my body it's like um I keep saying this and I kept hearing it today and I need to make another notice too. I'll open the Akashic field again next time we step into the space because it comes like this um, golden syrup that nurtures and nourishes us. But there's a sense and this feeling that this is time for such a great awakening. It's time for us to really purposely take the reins of our life it's not to do this like alone. It's in unison. It's this thing that this Capricorn mind like doesn't want to do, but there's in the space, it's the foundation will be restructured. And it's from our crystalline core, our deepest core. So this work I feel that we're doing right now, like the yoga and the Nidra, how it's showing up. Like today when I was writing things out, I was like, the way I wrote it out, I, I've been watching how I'm writing things out. There's a code written in here. It sounds just kind of crazy here, but I can see a book that's written here. There's a storyline and it's, maybe this is how like ancients like divined, I don't know, who knows what it is. It's really interesting. It's quite, the words this week was like, Marvelously miraculous. <laughs> Marvelously miraculous. I have a practice that if I can get the recording, I will share with you. Um, I just need to get the recording. But um, that I did that in and it was so beautiful. It was a self-care practice. So I'm thinking as things transition and times transition, I'll look at um, bringing in like a self-care practice that we can do maybe in the morning it's or maybe in the evening or something where it's like a deep coming back to oneself um i like to mix things up a little 
so we'll share energy the energy will come in and out and move up and down because it's not me this is me stepping into my personal mastery this is what i do really well in <laughs> helping people heal themselves <laughs> and move into their personal mastery so from my heart to yours may you always be blessed <laughs> namaste